Hello everyone and welcome back to Python Lessons in Code Academy. Uh, last time we started the project called Pig Latin on Code Academy and that was part one. Today we will be continuing on with part two. So what we need to do today is um, create a variable called pig and make it equal to a suffix called a. Uh, let's use double quote marks because I, think I just prefer those. Um, let's simplify things by making the letters in our word lowercase. So to do this, you have to get the string and put dot lower. That makes all of the uh, letters in a string lowercase, as we've learned before. So let's see what it wants us to do. Create a new variable called word that holds the dot lowercase conversion of original. So to do this, we need to do original dot lower and parentheses because dot, uh, because lower is a function. Then we need to go um, get another variable first that holds the first letter of original of word. So to get the first letter of word you do uh, word square brackets zero. It's zero because the computer starts counting at zero. Uh, we've covered this in a previous video. So let's see if this is correct. Let's enter word logo capitals and lowercase. So it works. Let's move on. On a new line after where you created the first variable, we need to create a new variable called new word and set equal to the concatenation, which means uh, uh, putting two strings together with a plus of word plus first plus take. So what this should do is uh, get the original word, the lowercase of the original word, add the first letter to the end, and add a y to that, to the end of the first letter. So let's enter word a, and it prints a because it We've only told it to print something here. We haven't told it to print this yet. So let's move on. Let's set new word equal to the slice from the first index all the way to the end of the new word. To do this, we need to do um, word of uh, new word square brackets one length of new word. So let's see. Yes, that's correct. Um, now we need to test it. I don't know what kind of testing it wants us to do. So let's finish this off in Python. And actually print new word and see if we have achieved what 